A very good morning from uh, the Walk Feeling Centre here in Molndal uh, in Gothenburg in Sweden. Before I talk about Walk Feeling, um, I just want to wish each and every person who's listening to this and their families all the very best in these challenging times. As I look in the world around me, changes are happening and a lot of people, very unfortunately, there's a lot of pain. But there's a phrase I've always used where there's a, there's a pain in learning at times, but it's the joy of discovery that makes up. And I hope in these times that together in this world, that changes will happen that will be very, very positive for us all. And my best goes to you and, and your loved ones. So what is Walk Feeling? Walk Feeling is a unique company that works for an individual's movement. And a phrase that springs to mind in this immediately is, and it's actually written up on the wall here, if you listen to your body when it whispers, you won't have to hear it scream. And that's a fairly straightforward statement if we listen to the body. Does the body talk? I think the body does talk, yes. I think this speaks sometimes. I think this is speaking all the time. What's it saying to you? Is it saying you're in balance? Is it saying you're in neutrality? Or is it sending you a little message saying things ain't quite right? This body is a gift, a very, very precious gift. And I've asked many people at different talks that I do, do you think you treat this body with respect it deserves? I've asked them to put their hand up. Not many hands go up. People are honest in this, in recognizing that thing and their relationship with their body isn't quite right. I talked to somebody just to the left of where I'm standing, an osteopath some months ago. And I said, what do you think of your body? I won't say the word that he used, but he said his body was not so good. And I said to him, you know what? I don't think that's true. I think your relationship with your body is not so good. And when that happens, the body very quickly starts to break down. We start to get pain. We start to get aches. I mean, when you go out today, if you are free to go out at these difficult times, just have a quick look at people's movements, the head position, walking crouched, feet pointing in another direction. One of the things that we do at Walk Feeling when somebody comes in this door to my right is we look at you as being unique. You're the original. We don't meet any two people who are the same, so we treat them in that way. And we don't talk about what's wrong with you. Now that might sound a bit strange. We talk about what you have got, what's positive, what's there just now. I had a young man come in the door last year. He was in chronic, chronic pain. He had been everywhere to specialists. He was 28. And the first thing when he walked in, we said to him was what was positive in his movement. Later on, when th I'll tell you the end of the story in a minute, he said that gave him so much hope. It gave him belief that something could happen. Now, that young man couldn't walk without pain. And I can tell you, six months later, not only did he walk, but he walked from Parma to Rome for charity. We get many people who come in with issues of all shapes and sizes. This is not an exclusive company. Walk feeling isn't exclusive. It's a science. It's your personal science. Yes, you. Not somebody else, you. 
It's you we speak to. And when we look at people, we listen to them. It's important that we do. We work together with them to find a solution that's right for them. And guess what? You're part of that solution. We are being recognized now by many in what we do. Not only in what we do, but the manner in which we do it. And we work with children right up to adults. We've worked with a 91-year-old who was in a frame and was told he needed that frame. You can guess what happened. The gentleman I referred to earlier who said his body wasn't so good. He wasn't walking correctly and he accepted that. He was 50 years of age and he always wanted to run, believed he couldn't run. He did, and very quickly. In fact, if you look at our website, you'll see a video of him doing it. But it's the day-to-day -day movement that we all have. Walking and moving is an integral part of our life. People talk about stress. We don't talk about that so much at Walk Feeling. We talk about tension. Because the difference between stress and tension is I can see tension. I mean, if you take your hand out just now and just put it out in front of you and just ever so slightly clench it and just roll up your sleeve a bit, if you don't mind, and then you just feel, I can see tension in my arm. The more I squeeze, the more I see. I can feel it going up my arm. I just let it go ever so slightly. It's still there but I don't notice it so much. So what does tension do? I can see it, so I know it's there. It's not like stress. So it's, t it's more important we address the issue of tension in the body. Does tension lead to pain? Does that bring about the aches, the back, the knees, the shoulders that many of us suffer from? Is there an answer? Is there a solution? Well, there is if we listen. And if we listen to the body and what it's saying to us. Because it's talking to us all the time. Remember what I said earlier. And when it talks to us, we have a choice whether we listen. At this time, I have to share with you, I didn't. And it nearly killed me, not once, but twice, because I didn't listen. I'm glad to say I now do. And the benefits are huge. So the body talks. What is your body saying to you? At this time when you think and look at your movement, if you're being honest with me, can you feel a bit of pain? Is there an ache? Could you walk with more freedom? Could you move with more freedom? For those of you who are runners, could you run quicker? I share a secret with you. We improve people's efficiency in running by at least 30%. Yeah, 30. In fact, we had a guy in who had an injury. He ran marathon. And he was told that the marathon was eight days away and you can't run, he was said. He came in through this door to my right, more in hope than anything else. And what happened? He ran the marathon. Ah, I'm going to put a comma after that, you see, because there's more. Not only did he run the marathon, he ran it 30 minutes quicker. 30 three zero minutes quicker. We've had women of 60 who have been in here with sticks. No sticks. And the stories are endless. Please look at our website. We were due to do a talk in Norway, and at that time, I would have met some of you, and I was really looking forward to that. 
But what we are doing now is we're offering seminars online for people who want and look to do and work with us. I mean, you're the original. See, at Walk Feeling, we don't do copies. We work with the originals. And there's an opportunity for you now to contact us, contact Axelsum, and let's get together online. Let these very difficult times not stop us looking after the very precious thing that is our body and respect it for the gift it is. What's your next step going to be? I hope it's to contact us and we look forward to hearing from you. And as I say, I wish you the very, very best from all of us at Walk Feeling at this challenging time. Thank you.